Hey amigos, welcome to iSpeaks. In this video, we will discuss about the new mode of cashless and contactless digital payment system called eRupee. eRupee is launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on August 2nd of this year. This eRupee is an e-voucher which will be directly sent to the beneficiary's mobile in the form of QR code or SMS string based voucher. The main thing we need to notice here is these vouchers are person and purpose specific. It means when the voucher is released by the government for the purpose of particular medical treatment of the beneficiary, then that voucher can be redeemed only for that purpose. Hope you got the point. Eropi is developed by National Payment Corporation of India, that is NPCA. Now let's see how it works. Firstly, the beneficiary will be asked to show the QR code or SMS based voucher to the merchant. Now the merchant will scan the code and then a verification code will be sent to the beneficiary's phone number. Then the beneficiary will have to share the code with the merchant and hence the payment will be successful. Let's look all this in a simple way. First, QR code is shown by beneficiary. Then scanning is done by merchant and then verification of e-voucher by verification code and hence payment will be successful. One thing you may wonder is, in India, 190 million people doesn't have a bank account and they have no idea about what are the digital payments we have. So, filling up this digital gap among the unbanked population is done by e -Rupi. That is, the person with no bank account can also use this payment mode. Also, here in this transaction, no card, no payment application, no internet banking is needed for the beneficiary to redeem his voucher. The main thing one need to observe here is the personal details of the beneficiary is kept confidential in regard of their privacy. Lastly, the best part of eRupee is earlier the government is used to release fund directly into the beneficiary's bank account, which don't get used, or in most of the cases, those funds are used for some other purposes. For example, if the money is released directly into the bank account, the purpose of medical treatment of the aged person in the family, then in most of the cases they don't spend those money for the treatment, rather the family members use this money for other purposes. Hence, here the main aim of releasing of funds is not fulfilled. This is controlled by e -Rupi, as it is person and purpose specific. One loophole I personally observed is, here the privacy of the beneficiary is maintained. So, no need of disclosing the identity by the beneficiary at the time of redeeming the voucher. So, the vouchers of one person can be claimed by other person.